So this one will be quite short because it's going to be really easy for you. Um, I know the tissue is a really hard poem, but one of the good things about it is, is it's impossible to not talk about methods because everything in this poem is a method because, it, because of it being an extended metaphor. Uh, so therefore, really, we've already explored this extended metaphor of paper and light right at the beginning when we talked about um, the basic understanding of the poem. So I'm just going to go back to that slide that you've all already seen in lesson one, I think it was. Um, yeah, here we go. So this explains the extended metaphor of light and the extended metaphor of paper. So as we said before, this poem, Tissues and Paper, uses an extended metaphor for human life. And um, the fact that she's chosen to use tissue as the symbol, as the metaphor for human life, which is a degradable and flimsy material, shows that human life is transient. Like tissue, it can degrade. Um, so she just uses the image of tissue to emphasise that human life is transient and that ultimately human life it will end. It's unlasting. By contrast, light is her metaphor for nature. She uses that all the way through the poem. Now, light is a life-given quality it's used throughout our culture um, as a symbol of strength and power. And therefore, she's able to suggest that nature is more powerful than humanity. So that's why she uses that metaphor. And you can obviously look back at that slide if you want to remind yourself of the meaning behind that metaphor. 